I'm Anna Nondrifa, and welcome to Explore with Anna. to the seaside, but I wonder where the water comes from. Hmm. Let's find out together. Come on, let's go. To find out where the water comes from, we are going to follow the river Ellen from the sea to the source. Let's start at a place called Cough Clay. This is the mouth of the river. This is where the river meets the sea. There are so many boats in the water. Boats have been coming here for hundreds of years. In Roman times, the ships will carry lime from the quarry to Perth Cay. The lime was burnt in these lime kilns. The burnt lime was used as fertilizer for farming. You can see how water is important for transportation. Boats will come to Hawk Clay, but they are here for fun. Water is important for recreation. Let's leave Park Clay and go further up the river Ellen. This takes us to the old water mill. The mill is not in use now. The old water wheel is being used to store bottles. In the past, the power of the water turned the water wheel, which turned the millstone to grind grain into flour. We still use water power now to generate electricity. Isn't water useful? Further up the river Allen, we come to a wall. This wall was built around the city of San David. The river brought nice fresh water to the people in the city. In the city, the river goes past the cathedral. Pilgrims to the cathedral used to bathe in the river water before going inside. Let's continue our journey. The river goes up into this beautiful farmland. The water from the river is used to grow crops and water the farm animals. We are nearly at the end of our journey. The river is very small now because we are near the source. You can see the river disappearing to the marshland. It is very cloudy and rainy over the marshland. The rainwater drains from the marshland to form the source of the river Allen. There are lots of creatures living in the river source, like this tiny little baby frog. Isn't it cute? Thank you for coming with me for this adventure. Bye.